guys, it's time for my January favorites. I'm really excited. Um, I have a lot of stuff to show. I'm going to show like a fashion thing and some um, like a hair thing and um, you know, just the usual beauty, cool stuff. Uh, so, Alright, so I'm going to get started first by saying, well, I just put the scarf on because it's part of my favorites. And um, I'm going to wear it out in a little bit, so I just figured I'd go ahead and put it on so I could show you. Like, these are really cool scarves. It's by Paula Bianco, and it is an Infinity Scarf. And Infinity Scarves, you can just kind of see, they're just very... Whoa, the tag's right there, so it's showing through. Um, but they're just solid round. Solid round. I have two of them. I've been wearing them like crazy. Uh, I've had them for a couple months. Um, this one you can see the color or the um, texture better because it's, you know, gray and I'm not wearing it. Um, but you can see it's just, it's very long and you can double it up, you can triple it, you can do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, they're really, really nice. They're extremely warm um, and I like them because while they're warm and they're kind of puffy, they're lightweight because they're not like thick, you know. And they look a little rough around the edges. Um, I got mine at, I think I got this one at Singer22, and then I might have gotten this one from a different website because the black one was hard to find, um, but they run around, like, I think $80, which is a lot, I know, it's crazy, um, but I don't buy many scarves, like, if I buy a nice thing, I will keep these for years, whereas some people will go buy, think that they're getting a great discount or a great deal, and buy a million $20 scarves or a million $10 scarves, they'd buy maybe you know, four or five over the course of the year, and you'd end up almost paying as much as you would for a nice one anyways, when if I have these, I feel like I don't really need any other ones. So, I don't know, that's just my little philosophy with buying nice things, but I really like these. They're really nice. Before I show my beauty products, I will talk about hair for a moment. My very favorite thing this month has been wearing my hair curly. I go in phases with that. I do have a tutorial on how to do it, like how to hold the curling iron, and um, I've been wearing it like this all day, so it's kind of getting a little... Meh. Um, but I do have a tutorial on how to do this. I will say, though, that, um, just to be fair, there is one thing that I have changed. Uh, all it is is my curling iron. I do the same exact, you know, curling it in sections like I did in the video. Uh, same exact tools. Uh, I mean, tools. Same exact, um, products. Why is this caught? Oh. Uh, but I have been using a different curling iron. This is the one that I showed in my video, which I'll link to below. And I believe this is a one and a half inch. I don't know what inch it is, but I do tell tell you that in the video. I believe it's one. Yeah, I think it's like one and a half, one and a quarter. Uh, this one is the size up, and it's by Hot Tools also. You can kind of see it's a little bigger. This is the one that I've been using, and I don't know why they're black and white now, but I really like them better than the purple. Maybe this is like... A tourmaline one or something? I don't know, but it's ceramic. They're both ceramics. I, I freaking don't know. Um, but really nice curling iron. I love these curling irons. Hot Tools curling irons. The ceramic ones are my very favorites in the whole world. Um, so yeah, you can check out that video. I'll show you how to do it. Alright, beauty products. Uh, first, I'm going to show you this mascara. It's absolutely amazing. It's the Maybelline Volume Express 1x1. One I used to use the Volume Express a long time ago, and um, I tried it again not that long ago, and I didn't really like it. Uh, but I saw this, and I was like, I have to, t I have to try it, you know. Um, but I saw this about a month or so ago. I got it at, right at the beginning of January, so I've been like itching to talk about it, but I really wanted to wait and see, because some mascaras are good to begin with, but then they just aren't anymore. Um, but yeah, looks like this, the brush really kind of threw me to begin with. It's shaped like that and it is very flimsy. Like when you touch it, it bends. Not flimsy, but it just, you see how it bends really easily? Um, which kind of freaked me out when I first started using it because I'm so used to this Lash Blast volume. Um, I'm used to my plasticky brushes, but this one is like, does not go anywhere. You see, it does not move. So I'm used to that. So when that one had so much give, it kind of freaked me out. But I'm not kidding, it's everything that I love in a mascara. It separates my lashes, it doesn't clump certain sections of them together. It separates them all the way from the roots, which makes it, them look fuller. And then the formula is so volumizing, it's everything that I love about mascaras. It's amazing. 
And even better, because you can find it at the drugstore. You guys all know that I love my drugstore mascaras, because uh, I do throw them out a lot. Or not a lot, but I mean, I'll only use one maybe for a couple months at the most. And um, I don't like paying a lot for that. So, um, yeah, I believe it was around 6 or $7, maybe at the most $7. I don't remember because it was a while back and I don't have my receipt anymore and I don't remember what I paid for it. Next is the Benefit Bella Bomba. I got this probably, I think it was the same time that I got this and um, I've been using it all month and I've I've really liked it and I wanted to see if it was going to break me out. I wanted to see um, before I was like, yeah, this is great. Nah. Um, but you can see it looks like that. had to change my battery because it straight up died on me. Um, but yeah, it looks like... It looks like this. I don't remember what I was talking about when it cut off. Okay, the Benefit Boxed Powders, I kind of have mixed feelings for. I love the colors usually. Well, I, I really don't like Hoola. I think it's the most worst bronze, the most worst. I don't, I don't like that at all. It looks a little muddy. Um, it's too matte. Honked outside. Um, I, I, the dandelion is okay. It doesn't really show up. The Dallas is gorgeous, but I just hate the packaging. I've always hated this packaging. I don't like it because you always had... Let me see. I think I got rid of all of mine. I've gotten rid of all of them. But anyways, um, they used to come apart like this would lift off and it'd be separate. It came with a really, really awful brush. Um, but I love how now it's one piece. It just flips up. There's like a little mirror now, which is kind of cute. And I really, honestly, like the new brushes. I hate applicators that come with products, usually. The old brushes that came with these, I would always just take out and throw away. Um, because they were just so, like, straight across and, like, I don't know. The edges were real harsh. They would leave, you know, it just, it wasn't a, it wasn't anything that would make anything look good, ever. Uh, but I really like this one. It's soft around the edges. It's a soft brush. And I've actually been using it. I used it today to apply this. Um... And I, I keep the little plastic so that the wood doesn't, you know, bang into the actual blush, you know. And then I just put it back in. Uh, oh, you might want to see what the brush, the blush looks like, huh? It's really nice. It's pink. It's very bright. I love bright pink blush, which some people might be scared of. But it's really nice to wear to give yourself kind of a glowy effect. And I'm trying to get it to show up on my hand. Which it's not going to on camera, but it's so pretty. It does look like it has a little bit of a frost and a sparkle to it, which I usually hate in a blush. Um, on your skin, you can't see it. I've really been loving the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is the XL, and this one is the shade Eden. Which, um, I tried the Sin a long time ago. It was alright, but um, I really like this one because... You can put it on and it's kind of like what Painterly Paint Pot does. Uh, it just evens out your eye area, but it prevents creasing. Paint Pots do not prevent creasing. Um, they are cream eyeshadows and yeah, the formula will say, oh, it's crease free, whatever. But when it comes down to it, it's just a cream eyeshadow and if you apply it to where you can see it and you are prone to creasing or if you um, sweat throughout the day or if you get hot or whatever, and the formula heats up, it is going to settle in your lines. Um, this formula is an actual eyeshadow primer and will actually prevent the creasing because it dries to a finish. That is not going to settle. Um, but the paint pots are great. They're great color base. I use them for bases all the time, but if you're, if you're prone to creasing, you might want to try an actual, you know, like this, which you can apply before paint pots or before cream eyeshadows. Um, really use those to kind of just bring out the color. And a lot of times I don't even use something like this if I'm, you know, but if I'm really wearing my makeup all day and I apply it early in the morning, I love this. I love this product. I love this color. The Eden is amazing. And the bigger wand, the bigger one with this bent wand does not bother me because it gets the edges. You can turn it right there and it picks up everything in this little edge because the wand is bent. So the packaging, packing, packaging doesn't bother me. This little base bothers me because you can't get in there. But it will last you a long time, so no biggie. I did find a good nude nail polish. Let's talk about that for a second. I have been talking about that forever. 
I have not used a lot of the ones that I bought because when I paint my nails I like to make it last you know a while so I'll leave it on for maybe like five days so it takes forever to really try out all of them um, I guess I could just paint them once but I just I don't know I just like going for the whole whole little thing um, this one's called Essie Secret Affair um, I've been wearing it for maybe four or five days so you can kind of see it's hopefully you can't see it's chipping uh, but it's a good nude has a little bit of shimmer to it, which is kind of neat. It makes it look, I mean, when you look at it, it doesn't look shimmery. When you get up close, it does. Uh, but it's so pretty, and I love it, and this is a great, great nude. Um, so I'm glad that I found that, but I am still wanting to find one that might be a little lighter, a little brighter, without shimmer. So I did buy some. I'm going to kind of go through those and see, but I will let you guys know if I find find some. I feel like I'm leaving something out as usual but I don't think I did so I'm going to stop because this is probably really long. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye!